Ladies and gentlemen, you know, it's been a while since I've done a sunburn news story. Well, this one fell right in my lap this morning when I woke up. Joe and Jill Biden went on vacation down there in the good old islands. And Joe Biden, he didn't get sunburned, y'all. He got sun seared. That's my new word, sun seared. So Joe Biden leaves St. Croix vacation with spectacular sunburn. Sun seared, y'all. The word for today is sun seared. President Joe Biden looked red as hell with an apparent case of sunburn on Tuesday at the end of his long week vacation in St. Croix in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Biden was photographed with a notably rouge face as he was preparing to board Air Force One to return to the White House. He'd been soaking up the rays on the tropical island with First Lady Jill Biden. And that's another thing. Jill, how come you didn't make sure your man had on enough sunscreen? Y'all know y'all got to go everywhere with that sunscreen. You know, ladies and gentlemen, I think the biggest fraud played on the entire earth is these folks have the best skin. If your skin does this, ain't no way in hell or high water you have the best skin. There is no way. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the fraud of the century played on all of us. No, we see all the indicators that your skin is the exact opposite, but it certainly under no circumstances is the best skin. So Jill, who also failed to make sure he had on enough sunscreen, you know, went with their granddaughter on a New Year's holiday, they reportedly stayed at a beachfront villa. And wow. Mm, mm, mm. So over the weekend, I guess he called this. So because you know, this man loves going on the beach, right? Loves going on the beach. Well, get all scorched up and sun seared. But still love to go on the beach. And this is another indicator that there's no way these folks got the best skin. They said someone should have packed on the extra sunblock <laughs> and need to remember this the next time. This man is what, 80, 81? And in all these years of knowing you must put sunblock on he forgot to put the sunblock on or didn't put enough on. You know, they can still get burned with sunscreen on, y'all. It doesn't matter. They can get burned year round. Year round. You know, I did these stories. Even their eyeballs can get sunburned. Everything on them can get sunburned. So let's look at my new word and what it means. All right, so here's my new word, y'all. Here's my new word. This is my new word. Sun seared, right? So I put it in the AI and this is what it came up with. It says it is not a common word in the English language and it doesn't have a widely recognized definition. So there's no definitions for this. So this is my new word to the world. It appears to be a compound word made up of sun and seared, suggesting something has been scorched or burned by the sun. 
Yes, ladies and gentlemen, my new word that I made up, sun seared, sun seared. So Joe Biden, because they said it was a pretty bad one, he was sun seared on a vacation in St. Croix. Now, I want you to remember something. About a year ago, Joe Biden was treated for skin cancer. He was treated for skin cancer. So keeping that in mind, shouldn't they have taken extra precautions to keep him from getting sunburned? This man is 81 years old. So that's a lot of years of wearing sunscreen. And he forgot to put it on and Jill is right there and she didn't slather this on him either or they didn't put enough on the president. You would think after getting treated for a sunburn, you would know to put on extra sunscreen or at least enough. But, you know, y'all, uh, like I said, they can get burned even with sunscreen on because the sunscreens they got out really are not that great. And, you, you know, you would think after all these years, it would be good sunscreen on the shelves and every single one they can put on and still get burned. I'm just saying so the sun rays uh, apparently battered Biden, who was beat red from his head and his neck, exposed by deep V of his unbuttoned collar. Biden's sunburn comes after a cancerous sun, you know, he had a cancerous skin lesion removed from his chest during an annual physical examination last February. Mm, mm, mm. And he still went out there and got sun seared anyway. So they said it was benign, but potentially precancerous, you know, this is according to his doctors, health officials, and numerous scientific studies indicate that tanning greatly increases the risk of developing skin cancer and other skin problems. Y'all, they have been running this best skin stuff on us for centuries centuries and look at the real reality here most of the more than 1 million skin cancer diagnoses in the u.s each year are considered sun related according to the american cancer society premature aging is a long-term side effect of uv exposure right but that's only for people that have very pale skin, then accelerated aging is always going to be a factor, especially if you have to step out in that sun. The more you step out in that sun, the more it's going to accelerate the aging process. Again, how is that the best skin? So let me read that again, premature aging is a long-term side effect of UV exposure, according to the Food and Drug Administration, which notes that the damage may not be apparent until years after a sun searing. Avoiding UV exposure is essential in maintaining healthy skin. How do you avoid UV exposure and we got a sun up in the sky? How? 
I mean, I've even seen, you know, them big hats and gloves and covered up. And even the parts that you don't cover up can still get burned. And I have seen videos online where people will have a t-shirt on and get burnt through their t-shirt. Yes, I've seen that, y'all. Yes, I have. So you're going to have to tell me, because Joe Biden has returned back to the White House all sun-seared and everything, looking as red as a beet. So y'all, tell me what you think about this video. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.